We're down here in Slocum. These bees have been in these boxes here on these pallets for about a week. And I found some more 10 frame boxes that I can use. Um, so I'm gonna get set up here and show you how I transfer this nuke right here into that box right there. Um, we're kind of in a dearth right now. Not a lot of nectar coming in. I'm probably gonna feed these bees. Um, but I do want to get them all in 10 frame boxes and get them comfortable on these frames. You see these bees over here have settled in really nicely in their 10 frame boxes. So I'm going to get uh, this hive right here in this bigger box, show you how I do it uh, this time of the year and we'll see how they do. We're gonna go ahead and try and make the transfer now. These frames right here, um, and I, you probably can't see my face, but that's okay. Um, these frames right here came out of a, a recent dead out. There's some pollen in here. The wax moss really have not had too much of a chance to get going on it, but I'm gonna use, these are three brand new Pierco triple wax frames. Actually, I'll put that over there. So we got two brand new Pierca wax frames, three drawn out frames um, from the dead out. And we're gonna see if we can transfer this nuke right here into this box on these pallets. So you can see there's a fair amount of bees right here in the hive. I haven't looked in here in a little while, so I'm not sure what to expect. I think it's probably gonna be fairly strong, but we'll find out. Maybe they won't be too feisty. I really just want to get these bees. Okay, so here's what happens sometimes with these particular type of nukes. I love them, the bees love them, but they will build some wax up here in the top and sometimes in the bottom of these particular type of nukes. And it's not a big deal. I just kind of shake the bees down into the, um, the new hive. Kind of just toss the honey off to the side here and the bees will clean it up. It really has never been an issue. I really like these kind of nukes because the tops and the bombs are interchangeable and they do have some really good ventilation in these hives, I think, with the uh, space in the top. But if you don't check them often enough, they will build that comb up and it's been a little while since I've checked this hive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna put the new box on the pallet in the brackets. Not sure if you can see these brackets over here. And it should fit right on there. Sometimes you have to push down a little bit to get it to fit secure, and there it is. So this right here is the interest to the new pallet and so forth. So I really want to get the this time of the year we are in a dearth. There's not a lot of pollen or nectar, or there's not a lot of nectar coming in anyway. We're not making a lot of honey. So I want to get the brood as much as possible in the middle of the hive. If we have honey and pollen on these outside frames, I may put them towards the outside, but I'm going to be sure I put this drawn comb kind of close to the brood in the middle so they can build up on that. It's kind of my goal anyway. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to move this over here. Okay. So far the bees have not been aggressive. Not to say that can't change. Last week when I was getting them situated out here, I'm moving the first few hives into bigger boxes. I um, They were a little feisty. You know, this frame is pretty much all honey. So I'm, I don't have any hesitation at all putting that pretty much just on the outside of the box. So we'll do this right here. And I'm gonna put a frame of drawn out comb next to it. Okay, now you can see right around here, hopefully you can see where there's been some good brood, but there's egg, there are eggs pretty much in all those empty cells. There actually absolutely are eggs in those empty cells. And on this side, we've got a little pollen. Um, we've got a little brood around the perimeter. I'm going to scrape the bees off the bottom here. 
or straight the, I'm sorry, the comb up the bottom. They built it up a little bit. So I'll put this here. Not even really too concerned about the queen or anything. It's the next frame. Lots of brood. These queens have done a good job. I think these are gardener queens out of Georgia. I think, I mean, I've gotten the queens from a couple different locations. I'm always kind of keeping an eye when I scrape some comb off that the queen's not on there. I'm not really too concerned about finding her. I've seen eggs already, so I know she's in here. Just want to make sure she doesn't end up over here in the grass somewhere. So I kind of check when I do that to make sure she's not in the grass. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this frame comb right here in the middle. It's actually broken on the end a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to put this frame right here. I anticipate seeing some brood on it as well, which I do. You can see that. I'm not sure how well it's showing up in the camera. Once again, we got brood in the middle. We got some younger larvae and even eggs around the edge and pollen and honey all on both sides of this frame. On this side, brood and eggs, a little bit of honey around the edge. These are doing good. I'm real pleased with them. They get them in these 10 frame boxes out here. Oh wow. Lots of brood on this this last frame right here, so that's cool. And get them all in these boxes, get them all established out here, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna hesitate to feed these bees if I need to because I'm really trying to build them up to possibly send them out for some pollination. I'm going to kind of partner up with a friend or two, try and get a truck together to send out for pollination. I'm not going to have a lot. They'll have more, but it'll be a start for me. So I actually think I want to put that right next to that last frame of brood right here. And then on this particular hive, because it is this time of the year, I think I'm just going to put the frames of foundation on the outside. Um, just got this Pierco foundation in. It's triple waxed. I've used some Pierco, uh, just the regular wax or single waxed, I guess, before, and it, it was fine. They did occasionally draw it out kind of wonky, I call it, kind of with some uh, burr comb and stuff, cross comb and so forth. And um, I've heard really good things about the triple waxed. And it really wasn't crazy more expensive, so I decided to give it a try. I actually ordered a pallet of this with a friend of mine. We went in together and ordered a pallet of it. Um, and I'm sure they did pretty good on the regular Pierco. I'm sure on this triple wax, hopefully they'll just draw it on out. This time of the year, the bees are not drawing a lot of wax. That's one reason I'm probably going to start feeding them some here pretty soon if they don't if there's not a flow going on just kind of trying to see how they do in this area right here because it is a new area for me and uh, just want just kind of trying to see what how everything works out here so all I'm going to do with these bees and they're drawing this up if I found if I kind of tilt it like this you know a hive beetle there and just kind of bump it at an angle the bees mostly fall off shake it a couple of times get most of them off of there didn't see the queen anywhere. No queen down here in the grass. I think we're good. Now I'm looking down in the box. I don't see her in there either. I think we're in good shape. I'm sure she's just in the hive. So I'm going to tilt this one up. Shake them down. If I tilt right on that corner like that, you don't sacrifice many bees. You don't kill many bees. And they just drop right down in the hive here. They really don't seem too aggressive. They're not getting after me really. They are flying around some. Before I put the lid on, I'm gonna smoke them down a little bit though. And I'll just kind of tilt this box up right here and may bump some down the ground in front of the hive, like that. I know people get on me sometimes for bumping my bees down, but if you just hit the corner and you try to make sure there's no bees underneath it, you really don't harm I mean, very, very few bees, if any, by doing that. If you do it right on top of the bees and you just slam the whole box down, of course, 
just trying to kill some hive beetles that I see in here. I'm gonna have to really, I'm gonna have to treat for mites. I may do that here before I leave today. I'm also gonna have to treat for beetles. Um, it's just that time of the year in this area where the beetles can be an issue. So I'm gonna leave the box out here in front of the hive. It's just right over here. And I'm gonna scrape the comb off of, the bees are pretty much all off of that lid. I'm gonna scrape the bees off of that. Put the lid on here like this. And as you can see, it's got a hole in it so I can feed them if I decide to do that. And I'll probably just put a uh, put some tape over it right now until I get some feed out here for them. Or I may open feed. But that's how this time of the year I want to do it. Now, if I don't have any drawn out comb to put in there, I'll just try to put at least three frames in the middle. The frames of brood in the middle. Then I may put a frame or two of foundation in between and then the honey and, and pollen frames more towards the outside. But I really want to keep the brood together and let them expand from the center out. I don't want to do a lot of the checkerboarding this time of the year. Now back in March, April, especially April, May, and even early in June, you can checkerboard and they'll draw that comb out so fast. But this time of the year, they're more hesitant to do that because there's just not much coming in. So I'm more concerned about them hatching that brood out. We're gonna feed them some probably and hopefully they'll draw the rest of that foundation out and just fill all these hives up out here um, really well. The goal is uh, by, you know, end of the, end of the summer, uh, fall, to have these hives with a deep and a medium. And if we can get them full of bees, they should do really well for pollination uh, next spring. That's kind of my goal. That's kind of how I'm gonna to try to do it with these bees and see what happens here in this area. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. And I appreciate you watching my channel. On to the next video.